Hello, I'm Ryan Hurst, and this is Brigantine History. During the late 1800s, a number of attempts were made to significantly develop the island of Brigantine. During this time, Brigantine was connected to Philly by a passenger rail line. In the 1890s, 16 trolleys moved people up and down the island, and steamboats ferried visitors back and forth between Brigantine and Atlantic City. A number of hotels were built to accommodate the tourists, including U.S. President Grover Cleveland. In 1924, a guest house was constructed on 32nd Street to welcome prospective buyers to Brigantine Island. A late Model T station wagon half-track was built for the Island Development Company to travel effectively across the sand. Here is a photo from 1924 showing prospective property buyers viewing sand lots on the island. Built in 1927 as part of the island's master plan, the Brigantine Golf Links was designed by Wayne Stiles and John Von Cleek in a Scottish Link style. True to its historic Scottish roots, the layout offered breathtaking bay views, native marsh, and gentle rolling terrain. The original plan called for the golf course to be built immediately over the bridge along the bay, where the present Cove Beach sits. Before construction, it was decided that the back of the island was a much better location for the golf course. In 1928, Ed McGinley was appointed the first golf professional at the new Brigantine Country Club, which opened on July 4th. The original course was only nine holes with the par set at 35. The original clubhouse, which stood next to the bay and across the street from the present clubhouse, was completed a few years later at a cost of $250,000. Renowned up and down the East Coast for its picturesque clubhouse and Scottish Lynx course, the Brigantine Golf and Country Club was visited and enjoyed by many golf pros during the late 20s and early 30s. Many of the roads on Brigantine Island were named after famous golfers of their time including Evans Boulevard for Charles Evans, Hagen Road for Walter Hagen, and Sterling Place for female golfer Alexis Sterling. Like most businesses during the Great Depression, the course was forced to close. It lay dormant for many years. In 1989, the property was purchased and the name was changed to the Brigantine Golf Links. The new owner renovated the fairways and built a new clubhouse. In July of 2002, the property was sold again to the City of Brigantine. The City of Brigantine, in partnership with the Atlantic County Improvement Authority, oversees the management and maintenance of the course. Today, Brigantine Golf Links offers prevailing sea breezes and carefully placed bunkers, along with views of the bay. The 18-hole par 72 course is lined with older and newer island homes and provides an exciting and ever-changing experience for golfers of all skill levels. We invite you to be a part of our history. Book your tea time at Brigantine Golf Links.